getaway game today for the Mariners and Reds. 1-10 Pacific time, 4-10 Eastern time. Mariners go to Colorado after this game with a day off tomorrow. Don't care where Cincinnati goes. They're in the National League and don't really affect us for the rest of the season. Bryce Miller gets his fourth start of the season for the Mariners. He's 2-1 this season with a sub-3 ERA. I think it's 2.26 or 2.25. Mariners have Jonathan Clay still up, and he's doing incredibly well, getting a hit in each of his first two games and an RBI in each of his first two games at the Major League level. <coughs> Ty France had some hard-hit baseballs over the last few weeks, a few days, so I'm expecting more of that. Cincinnati's bullpen is taxed, so... If the Mariners can chase the starter early, it should be an easy win. Mariners have been having some amazing plate appearances lately where they have been just taking pitches off the starter. Strikeouts are still there. Julio struck out three times last night. I'm not happy about that. Rayleigh also struck out three times last night. <coughs> but they're going down overall. They only struck out seven times on Monday. Uh, but 15 times yesterday. So we're still averaging over 10 strikeouts per game, which is unfortunate and well on pace to set the major league record of 1,620 um, would, be the, would be the record. We're also on pace to be the only the second team to have more than <laughs> three players with 200 strikeouts in a season uh, after ourselves. Andrew Abbott gets the start for the Reds, and he is making his 26th career appearance in the Major League level. He's got 121 strikeouts so far in his career, with 11 of them coming this year. A whip just above one at 1.04. So I expect the Mariners to be able to chase him pretty early, get the pitch count up high. Um, only one of our players has seen him, and I can't remember who it was. And I literally just looked at it, but I just cannot remember which one of our players has seen him. Most of the Reds have seen Bryce after we played them last year. I expect the Mariners to continue controlling the zone and having good plate discipline. That hopefully leads to some base hits, walks, and runs scored. Um, the Mariners have been showing that well over the last couple of days, and that should, should that continue, it'll be very good. Mariners are only one game behind the Rangers in the division race. The last place team in the division right now is actually Houston.